whoa, two, the lost crops of the Andes. I read a book one time called The Lost Crops of the Andes, and I discovered a, a food in there, bacon berry. Can we jump to that? I actually made that name up. Actually, it's agu, agu, aguamiento berries, actually. You know, I said, I can't sell that. <laughs> How about Incan barracks? The Incan, the Incan troops and all the people who used to run the messages all through the Incan trail used to carry these berries. Do we have that? Yeah. Click on that. Used to carry these berries with them. By the way, this is higher protein than goji berries. 16% protein. Goji berries, 13, 14%. 16% protein. It's a fruit. So it's kind of the goji berry of South America. So I just made up that name, Incan berry. Isn't that hilarious? Now it's all over the place. I walk into stores and I see it. Wow. I walk into stores and I see that. I say, it can bury. Like, oh. Never know how these things go. Anyway, this is one of the lost crops of the Incas. There's a whole book written on this. I read that book and said, I gotta get this. We got it. We brought it up here. This is something that grows in like the side of the road. I mean, it's so forgotten about that it was like literally growing in ditches. Finally, we got a group of farmers start growing at 10 acres. In five, six years, maybe seven years it's been, it's just gone ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Now there's whole crops of it. Now there's whole things going on. Isn't that amazing? And when you eat that stuff, it's like, whoa, this has got serious like vitamin B3. It has that tobacco taste. See, like vitamin B3 was have to do with tobacco. Do you know? How many people know? Right, niacin, niacinamide, nicotinamide, and nicotine are almost chemically identical to each other. So when somebody has a tobacco addiction, they really have a vitamin B3 deficiency, major, because they're using vitamin B3 to produce tryptophan. So if somebody's on a conventional diet, it's all cooked, so they're not getting the protein, they're not getting tryptophan. Tryptophan's heat volatile. So if somebody has chicken, they think, oh, I'm getting my tryptophan. They're not, because 50% of it's destroyed, and the other rest of it's like, well, maybe it's useful. Maybe it's not. I mean, we don't know. It looks like it's not, because most people are suffering from, what's the, what's the syndrome? I can't say it's illegal, but you can tell me. Depression. <laughs>